This is a case of uh, posterior urethral valves, PUV, in a fetus uh, age 36 weeks. We see dilated kidneys. This is the right kidney, this is the left kidney and dilated tubular structure adjacent uh, to both of them and this is the urinary bladder. This is a longitudinal section in one kidney. We see here the dilated uh, ureter which is a tubular structure adjacent to the kidney. Of course, uh, we uh, distinguish it from the small bowel loops by the content, which is anechoic. Here we see the urinary bladder. This is the another kidney. Severe hydronephrosis. This is the parenchyma of the kidney. This is the hydroureter, dilated, distended ureter, and this is the urinary bladder. This is the measurement of the pelvis on both sides. Here we see the scrotum. So it is a male fetus. Uh, we see, we know that uh, posterior urethral valves occurs in male fetuses. Measurement of FL. Coming uh, to the urinary bladder, we see the keyhole appearance of the urinary bladder, which is the distended bladder and the distended dilated uh, posterior urethra. This is the posterior urethra, the first part of the urethra. This is the distended urinary bladder. The measurement of BPD. This is the face of the fetus. So, we diagnose posterior urethral valves by uh, seeing hydronephrosis bilaterally, hydroureter and distended uh, urine filled uh, urinary bladder, and uh, by uh, seeing the keyhole appearance, which is the dilated posterior urethra and the distended urinary bladder.